All right, KP Kaiser. Coffee Rex. Love that. How you doing, Connor? McLeod? I'm going good. How are you, Nick? I'm doing well. It's I've been pretty it. busy trying to. I'm living in a house with no furniture at the moment because <laughs> I'm moving. <laughs> yep. <It's> like, <laughs> Makes sense. It's weirdly. I don't get sad about things, Coffee, mm -hmm. but it's like very weirdly melancholy to live I in a imagine. house where there's just nothing. It's just end of an era. Yeah. How long have you been there? Like two and a half years, but it's just like also I'm leaving Adelaide yeah. as a whole. Yep. I don't. To be honest, I'm not really going to miss living particularly in this house. Yep. Because like. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. I think it's really exciting. I, th I, I think you'll love Melbourne. I think it's sick. Yeah, I'm keen. I'm very excited. So much fucking organizing. I've really got to figure out how exactly I'm moving everything over there. Because, mm -hmm. like, the plan is to drive, but I don't know whether my mattress will fit in yep. the car. And it's, like, it's touch and go, and I don't want to put it in the car and still have to sleep on it Do for another have, week. So I'm just going to uh, You can get, like, the things you put on the top of the car. Yeah. The top of the car. If uh, if need be, then I will do that. Yep. Ready? Hello, right. amps. All right, folks. Let us know if the audio is right, if the mics or the um, game volume needs to go up or down, and then we'll adjust it. All right. Um. Cool. Looks pretty good. Uh, Ems, I'm gonna go to Melbourne to live. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna live with Geordie, actually. Oh, miss him. In, in the Microsoft no mansion. Contest. That is very exciting. It's just you and Geordie, right? Yeah. I also suppose it is. That's so, that's actually so sick, what the hell. Yeah. It's gonna be hype. I'm gonna play a lot of Shmi. I'm gonna play LAN Melee against Salco, which is such a joy. It really is, actually. I don't use the, I don't use sound as much. But it still is like I'll notice myself getting one or two randomly. The way I'm, the way I'm very aware that I'm not looking at the Falco. Yeah. It's just the sort of just like I'll just notice it. I'm just like, oh, I hit that. I think nice. it's impossible not to use sound cues if you are. Yeah. Ooh, oh my god! Booming game audio. That is very fun. Some of us have eardrums. Ah, uh, Coffee versus Kai. Coffee getting a lot better on on the grind. Played him. Just pull the tournament to warm up and like noticeably better than Peach, been putting up a lot of work. That's yeah, cool. Insider knowledge, Coffee Rex was like, I played Kai two nights ago and I was kinda shitting on him. So shitting on him, and he's just continuing the, the uh, Yeah, continuing the tradition from two days ago. Yeah, really taking those games. Up. Showing those weren't just it wasn't just a friendly joke. It wasn't just online. Coffee Rex here to play in the locals with the frame one. Yeah, I mean Kai Kai's here to play at all times, even in friendly. So if you take a friendly off Kai, then you know, it probably would be Oh that's uh, That's when you get a bit sad. Yeah, that sucks. Especially if you're used to like specific timing of that player and you're like not much of a CRT player. You can get side sniped. I've got a feeling Coffee hasn't hit the point where it's differentiated. He just like went for a read and right. switched like yeah, I mean, with Fox, it's kind of, you can just leave it. Yep. I think he went for like a shine on like a further side B, but I think Kai just like did like an instant jump side B and it just happened again. But it bring it eventually back. even get the sticks. That's death though. Kai's just hitting really hard. Kai really taking that extra stock to make it work. But that Ooh. shine audio is massive. It actually is. The down S2 has got like a little. Oh, <laughs> I just, I just heard of that. It's very crispy. You get like the full, full experience. Oh, it's like a thought. It like resonates. Yeah. It is like a thunderclap for sure. Or like the bin. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it goes for the soft read on going to the ledge. That's a tough read. Oh, here, X. Ledge lover. As anyone with either notches or angles quickly becomes. And especially box players. Yeah. Any, any, any boss player, any notch player, they love, they love the angles. They'll yep. go down. Kai going 1-0 up. Yep. Oh, best of five. Yeah, all best of five. All best of five. All best of five. All stream, all best of five. It is top eight. Yeah. Wait, no, it's not. It's technically top ten. But, yeah. This is top eight, isn't it? This is top eight. Yeah. Well, no. You could go nice. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. I like the shield wave that forward out the, the get up attack. Yeah. I just blocking him with these up jumps. 
I think Coffee losing a bit of faith in an execution, Kai just sort of opening him up and just murdering him. Yeah. Whoa. Coffee the kind of guy to get disarmed in battles. Yeah. Kai the kind of guy to hit you really hard when you're disarmed. Yeah. <laughs> Kai looking very serious right now. Yeah, well, Kai, the, the thing about having a friendly session before a tournament and winning yeah. is like they know to take you seriously now. Uh huh. And yeah. They probably are prepared, at least mentally, for like how they're going to play against you next time. Yep. It's like, oh, these are the three things I got call by in the friendly show. Yeah. I'm not letting that happen at the storm. Yeah, there's a weird kind of advantage to having lost the last friendly yep. session, where, like, you're the one with all the fresh things in mind about what you want to change, and they're, like, hosting, you know? They're excited. They're like, oh, I'm winning. That's fine. Depends how hungry the person is to beat. I think, like, if you win a friendly session, but you haven't yet beaten them in the tournament, you want to win. It's not as much of an advantage. Yeah. Just because, like, you're like, all right, I won the friendlies. I have to put it all together in tournament. But I think when you're just, like, not thinking about it very much, it's, like, a much bigger advantage to the guy who just lost. Yeah, especially when it's like the better player yep. losing the friendly session to the worst player. It's yep, like, yep. If they win, they're just going to be like, yep, still got it. <laughs> Ooh. Little greedy grab. Yeah, I'm trying to catch him with the sword ass. I was watching KJH lab uh, laser on shield and then catch him full up with sword air, like, Okay. Like, like short up forward air. And, like, oh, like, oh, so like, like a in just so like it can't get shield grabbed, it just like comes above. It was like approaching, yeah. Like, that's really cool. It was, yeah, I don't know whether it's actually good, but... Yeah. I feel like that's a lot of KGH's stuff, but like, yeah. You know, some of it is. Yeah, I mean... It was working in spots where Ned doesn't work. Yeah. The point. So maybe that's what Kai is trying to do. Kai, also the kind of guy to have very specific setups in mind, yep. and like, look for very niche things. Yep. Yeah, Kai will hit you to like, random shield folks and just like, random sequences, like you just don't think about. Kai's just like an idea man. Whatever like his idea is, he will like he'll make it work and he'll just put like a lot of effort in and it will just come out of nowhere. Like, yeah. okay. I haven't seen any other Falcon in Australia do this, but Kai did it. <laughs> yeah, and all these ideas are completely inscrutable to yeah. outside of service. Yeah, Coffee kinda of getting a little shit on. He's just getting completely shut out. I feel like FD. He's just losing the neutral so heavily, yep. and I haven't seen any big FD punishes, you know? Yep. I think FD is a really shaky stage, especially like if you lose confidence early. Especially does Falco, because Fal like, I don't know, Falco eats you alive. Like, in both spacey matchups, you just get eaten alive if you're not confident in your punish. Where on like, something like Dreamland or like even a Pokemon or something, you sort of can get stability, you can use the platforms, you can like do some recruiting bears on like FD. It's just who blows each other up. Yeah, and if Kai's committed to like lasering a lot, then having platforms to get around that could be really good. Especially if you're not power shielding well, like... Oh, M's with a good question in chat, actually. How did people ASDI down without down smashing? It's your... you hold C-Stick down while you're in an action where you can't down smash. So like, dash, or float in my case. Or wave dash. Yeah, or wave dash, like anything like that, you, you can hold down while you're in action. Or like, hold C-Stick down when you're in action and you can't actually down smash. Dash is like the most obvious one, I think. Yep. And then Wave Dash, you can just like hold physically down with the, the slope. Yeah. Wave Dash, I used to, uh, when I was like trying to force said Power Shield for like yep. one of these dashes, <laughs> I would always do that in Wave Dash. I remember that session. I remember that session just because like I remember one of the, when you got the Light Shield and you got like the True Punish, or it was the Five Nairs that popped the shield. <laughs> you were just spamming roll. <laughs> Yeah, you can you can always hold down while you're way dashing. You can you can do it with the control stick or you can do it with the C stick. Either or, or both if you're feeling a little spicy. This combo is kind of crazy. It is falling up there, but uh, it's got that much up there. I love Falco's up there, man. Ooh, the weak of air down air. That's it. Pretty big di from both of them. I reckon that's the end of the set, and I'll have to play Cat. I might have to play Tish think, or Benji. Yeah, whoever won that. All right, Cheers. peace out, chat. Survival.